And let the registration start for this master too, so that uh, we can share it after. Okay, with those that cannot attend the meeting or simply are attending another meeting during this open day online. Well, I will be presenting the Master of Wine Culture Communication using the slides of a presentation in, in a way that some crucial informations are actually uh, better explained when written and just told you by uh, the presenter. Well, here we are. Let's go to the slides. I hope you can see them well. They should be visible to you. And um, and therefore, I think we can start. My name is Michele Fino. I'm professor of law in the University of Gastronomic Sciences. And uh, I am one of the two conveners uh, of the master in one culture communication. We are two conveners because this master has changed a bit its design during the last years. And since uh, 2019, we thought of two majors for this course that uh, can be both chosen by the students according to their preferences and can lead to a punctual um, definition of uh, the education the students get through this master in two different directions, but uh, of course, uh, both of them very rooted in the world of wine. This master is designed and delivered with the help of the Bank of Wine, that is a prominent institution for the conservation and the promotion of long aging wines from Italy, and Slow Food, that is the International Association that founded our university in 2004. As I told you, there is one course, but two streams for this master. You can call them majors, you can call them streams the way you prefer. Stream one is the stream devoted to languages and perception. Stream two is devoted to marketing and strategy. Therefore, one is more uh, um, linked to the, the experience of wine, when the second stream is more linked to the activity of the companies that are involved into wine making and distributing. Uh, plus, plus to these two streams that allow the students to define the way they want to uh, finalize their presentation, we have 10% of the ECTS credits of the course that are defined with the students. So we involve the students in choosing what are the topics they would like to deepen with or professors of the university during the time they are in college. In this way, we definitely think that we allow each student to be master of his or her own master program, because we are glad to collaborate with you in the definition of the contents. The objectives of this master course create wine tellers and wine ambassadors. When we say wine tellers, we do not mean just people serving wine, but we mean people able to storytell wine. So people able to create a new narration of wine based on a consistent agricultural, enological, environmental, and cultural elements we are pleased to deliver to you during the course to provide you the knowledge that is required to be this new kind of brand ambassadors, this new kind of wine storytellers, we have uh, created a path that involves knowledge and competencies in grape wine cultivation, wine culture, and wine making with professors and professionals. The students 
will then, after a first phase of the program in which they attend all the same courses, as I told you, the students will decide the streams, the stream they prefer among the two, and will end their period in Polenzo attending classes that depend on their chosen stream. What has changed to this, to this program after the COVID pandemic? Well, the classes are held in Polenzo uh, in presence, but if for any reason you don't come to Polenzo, you cannot come to Polenzo, you cannot come to Italy at all, then you can attend the course thanks to the classes that are all recorded. You will find on the same platform we are using in this moment, that is Blackboard, all the classes recorded as well as all the learning materials, papers, dossier, books that are needed to prepare for the exams will be uploaded on the platform and will therefore allow you to learn and prepare even if you are not physically in Poland. The course is divided in thematic modules. The first and common to everyone is the thematic module in wine culture. Here you find the more technical disciplines like viticulture, enology, tasting techniques, entomology and vineyard safeguarding, pruning and soil management, biodynamic viticulture, and sensory analysis of wine. And here are some of the faces you're going to meet during this part of the course. Maurizio Gili, agronomist, professor of viticulture, at the top of the page on the left. Uh, right to him, Ilaria Pertot, that teaches entomology and vineyard safety. Lower to them, in the big picture, Ulrich Fischer from Germany, that teaches pruning, Luisa Torri, professor of sensory sciences in our university, and close to her, Stefano Pescarmona, wine grower in Emilia Romagna and lecturer about biodynamic. Uh, I see that some of you have problems with the presentation. Let's check if I can fix the problem. Thank you for writing immediately if you see some problems. Do you see it now? Do you see the presentation now? Hmm. Okay, it's a problem of, uh, of my internet connection that has slowed down a moment. So, thank you for informing me and I do hope that now the problem is over, but I, can, I will control more regularly if everything works. So these are the faces I was describing before. From uh, the top on the left, Maurizio Gili, on the right, Ilaria Parto that teaches entomology. Lower to them, Ulrich Fischer from Germany that teaches pruning. In the middle, black and white photo, Luisa Torri, professor of sensory analysis. And the last one with the sunglasses on his head, is uh, Stefano Pescarmona, that is a wine grower, Lambrusco maker in Emilia Romagna, and lecturer in, of biodynamic viticulture. The second part of the wine culture thematic modules includes wine history and cultures, philosophy of wine, anthropology of wine, history of art in wine producing areas, wine law, and wine labeling. You may ask yourself why history of art in wine producing areas. Well, that's part of our idea of wine storytelling. Uh, you cannot properly market the wine from Italy or the wine from France or the wine from Germany if you are not able to describe the places this wine is sourced of. Therefore, to know about the art and the culture of the countries from which the wines you are going to sell are produced is crucial in order to be a new kind of communicator. And that's why we pay a lot of attention on these aspects, on this cultural, but at the end of the day, even marketing related aspects. And here we have the anthropologist of the course, Michele Fonte Francesco, and uh, across 
the, the, the page you see on the top, Ian Tattersall, lower to him with long hair, Robert de Salle. These two guys are two preeminent professors, paleontologists of the Museum of Natural History in New York. And they have uh, published five years ago a book that is the Natural History of Wine. They come for a week every year in order to teach natural history of wine in our course. The last guy is the guy that teaches history of art in wine producing areas, Armando Castagno, that is one of the most prominent pundits of wine in Italy. And as you will discover, an amazing, an amazing storyteller about wine. Uh, and by the way, one of the greatest experts of Burgundy and Champagne in this country, mostly Burgundy. This is one of the classes we have in the Bank of Wine. This is a picture taken during the first course of the master that took place in 2015. Um, the, the, the classes in the Bank of Wine included tastings that are a lot every year, more than 20 and allowed students to discover territories where wine is produced uh, and has been produced for centuries in Italy, but not just in Italy. Stream one, so at the end of the, of the common part, the common part of the course that are the thematic modules devoted to wine culture, you will, have, will be able to choose between the two streams. Stream one include wine, brain and languages, Aesthetics of wine, epistemology, and wine writing. Epistemology, as you can see with the trademark, is an innovative approach to wine tasting uh, created by Professor Nicola Perullo, who is the co convener of this master and is the chairman of this stream. During this stream, you will meet the people you find in this picture Nicola Perullo at the top on the left, close to him, Richard Boudin. Uh, English, but uh, English guy, but now, uh, sorry, I see the presentation has gone again, but this time I'm prepared. So uh, I was saying that um, close to Nicola Perullo, you see Richard, Richard Baudin, uh, English. Guy that is an expert of guides and uh, wine journalism, living for the last years in Italy, and therefore expert of this way of communicating wine. Lower to them, you see on the left, Gian Paolo Gardina, philosopher and wine expert uh, with a long career in the wine journalism in Italy, and Emanuele Giannone, who is probably the most amazing guy we have in the program. And Emanuele is a ship engineer, so he designs ships and, uh, and the creation of new ships, but is a seven languages speaker, an amazing uh, person able to lead you through activities that uh, will develop your capabilities about telling wine and writing about wine in an amazing and probably an expected way. The other stream is the stream I am the chairman uh, and is the, the stream in wine marketing and strategy. You will have classes of competitive strategy and entrepreneurship, wine industry, marketing and statistics about wine as well as classes about the sociology of food and wine consumption. And here are some of the faces you're going to meet. Uh, Roberta Sassatelli from University of Bologna, sociology of food and wine consumption. Close to her on the top, uh, Swatka Skarso, Hungarian expert of uh, wine marketing that uh, uh, delivers the classes about wine marketing especially. Cinzia Parolini, professor of the University of Modena in, in Emilia Romagna, and Carmine Garcia, that are the professors of the course of strategy that will be, uh, that will be in, involved with you. Uh, I'm very, very sad that the connection is, uh, is so weak that the slides fade away.
Yes, I know, Alex. It's a problem of my connection. I do not, I do not know why, because uh, actually is a is a good connection to what I can estimate, but there must be some problem. The previous the previous presentation has gone very very well. This one is not going the same. Try to let uh, resume. Let's see if it's now work a bit better. So, as I told you, not only uh, in the classes you are going to deepen those and different topics about wine, but there will be also an intense activity we used to say hands on. The first of it are the tastings and seminars at the Wine Bank in Poland. So you will have at least 20 meetings at the Wine Bank, but uh, it's likely that uh, we arrived to 25 meetings. Each of these meetings are devoted to uh, a kind of, of an expert or uh, a, uh, the business of some expert that uh, can be insightful and to expose you to inspiring information. Uh, the Bank of Wine will also be the place where you have the tasting you will organize and uh, you will have the opportunity to meet uh, producers and other guests that you will be able to invite to Polenso during your stay there because we absolutely encourage the students to get in touch with the producers they like and invite them in Polenzo for extra meetings. Uh, alongside these activities that take place where the university is located, we have three study trips that are currently planned in Italy at the moment because uh, the COVID pandemic does not allow a different planning, but as soon as the situation improves, we will be absolutely happy to enlarge the radius of our activity and to reach uh, places uh, that are fundamental for winemaking all around the world with you during the year you are going to spend in Poland. So actually, we usually organize one to uh, Italy, another to Europe, and the third outside Europe to be to to, to give you just. Um, and inside, last year, in 2019, students have been uh, in um, Sicily, in Tuscany, uh, sorry, in Sicily, in Burgundy, and final in South Africa. So three very different areas to be visited and to be understood under the viticultural and winemaking point of view. This year, of course, we are working now on three destinations in Italy, but as soon as the situation improves, one or two of these trips will be substituted with other trips outside Europe, outside Italy, in Europe, and hopefully also outside Europe. But it depends a lot on the way the situation is going to uh, improve. And as you know, currently, we cannot have false hopes uh, about this improvement. During the study trips, you are not on a holiday. You have uh, at least 40 scheduled meetings with producers. And you, have not, and you have not less than 150 hours of didactic activities, including wine tasting outside the university during the study trips. The study trips are amazing opportunities for uh, uh, getting in touch with the terroirs, and getting in touch with producers that sometimes are really iconic producers. Therefore, during the study trips, please do not hesitate, do not hesitate in uh, taking any um, chance, any opportunity during the study trips to get in touch with companies, to share contact information, to stay in touch with people, you would like to spend your internship there. Because after the time of the study trips, 
after the time of the course in Pollenzo, you will be invited to spend a period as an intern in a cellar, in a company that sells wine, in a consortium, one of the, the institutions, the syndicates that protect designations of origin, and so on. Therefore, uh, our career center will help you since the very early days you will spend in Polenzo in order to allow you to define what you want to do with uh, the master diploma and therefore what kind of internship is the best for you. What kind of internship will, will actually give you the opportunity to, uh, to shift from the study at the university to a position in a company in the smoother place and also in the most satisfying way. The career approach is not a ready-made uh, internship to be distributed. So you are not going to receive uh, a card in Polenzo on which you find the name of the company you are going to spend your internship and everything is already prepared and you just have to leave the university and go there for the internship for the time that has been planned. It doesn't work this way. The career center approach takes that you and the career center collaborate very stri strictly from the very early days you are in Polenzo. What does it mean? It means that you are invited to get in touch with, uh, with uh, our career center to explain what you think, your doubts, your feelings, and also your desires through a set of meetings, not just a, one meeting, but a meeting each two months, you will be able to define what you actually want to do. And don't be uh, surprised if your mind will change during the time you will be in Poland. Because this is very normal. This is very likely. And at the end of this path, thanks to the career center approach, you will have to find uh, what is the company you would like to, uh, to get into as an intern, and you will be helped by the career center to get in touch with the company and to complete uh, all the steps that are needed for a successful internship. After the internship, you will discuss the thesis that can deepen one of the topics of the course, but can also be a thesis about the internship at the company or the company you've been spending the internship in. So that's the final moment uh, of, uh, of your experience in Polenzo. It will take place uh, in uh, December 2021 with a public discussion in front of a commission. And if the result will be positive, you will be granted the diploma of uh, wine master in wine culture and communication. And then what are the people that got this diploma do, doing now? Here you see a short list. We have students, former students that now serve as wine market analysts, junior export managers, international sales manager, junior marketing manager, export area manager, as well as brand ambassador for companies or syndicates social media expert and influencer with one of the uh, influencers with uh, more followers in Italy and a blogger is a former student of the class 2017 of our of our master in wine culture and communication uh, but also hospitality and public relations so not immediately related with wine but something that has to do with wine national sales manager or media content analyst as well depending for instance, on your previous background. If you come with a background uh, in law, for instance, maybe that after you come back to your legal profession, but in, uh, in the field of the wine companies, in the field of activities that relates to the protection of GIs, geographical indications, or protection of trademarks against imitations. So there are really many opportunities that depend on the way you melt former uh, background with the course. 
that the general crucial information. The course will start in January 2021. The ranking list, the final ranking list, will be uh, released on November 13, 2020. Therefore, a couple of months before the starting of the course. We talk about a ranking list, even if, uh, the, um, if the admissions to this master are rolling admissions. Rolling admissions means that uh, while the students complete their application, they are immediately evaluated. This is comfortable for the students because uh, if they want to apply, they can immediately know that if they are admitted or not. And at the same day, they, if, they had, if they have other ideas about courses in Italy or abroad, they can be punctually informed by the university about their admission, and therefore they don't, do not have any kind of risk or stress because they have to wait for a deadline and they actually don't know what uh, expects for them in the future. The rolling admissions mean that the sooner the better. The sooner you complete your dossier and you submit it to the university, the sooner you know the results of it. And in case of admission, you can confirm uh, your will to come to Polenso and to learn uh, in this master course. The fee remains the same of uh, the last five years and it's evaluated in 16,500 euros. There is financial aid available for students from European countries and from the US, as well as there is one uh, scholarship for uh, students that have low income and are high in the ranking of, uh, of, the, uh, of the master program. That means that even if you have been admitted, to know if you have been awarded with a scholarship, you need to wait November 13, because the final ranking list will be released only after that day. Well, I hope uh, these informations uh, are clear, and uh, I'm absolutely happy to uh, answer your eventual questions today. I hope uh, that uh, the problems of connection are now over, that you listen to me correctly, and that you could see the slides that I have shared with you. Well, Professor Fino, I just want to say that I am also here. Ah, so thank if, you very much. If I, I had uh, some connection problems at the beginning, but I followed the presentation with rapt attention, as I'm sure all of the prospective students who are participating did as well. I just wanted to offer, um, offer my ear to any students that might have questions specifically regarding the admissions process. I would be happy to answer any of them. Yeah. As, uh, as I told before, and please, Charles, in case of a uh, uh, gap in what I say, in case of holes in what I say, do not uh, hesitate in filling them. The process is completely online. You are not required to come to Polenso for any kind of test or anything else. Uh, and online means that you are invited to complete a dossier on the site of the university, filling uh, a questionnaire, sending us an essay, submitting all the documents uh, on your side, and in particular, your university uh, bachelor diploma with a, a declaration of value that assesses the content of the diploma. And of course, you can also add recommendation letters for other elements that you think can uh, display your will to come to Polenso, your motivation to attend this master course, and uh, your commitment to be a good student in our university. The recommendations letters do not need to come from a, a, university, a, a university level. Therefore, recommendation letters written by academics are good. 
but uh, do not hesitate in submitting recommendation letters written by your uh, the, the entrepreneur that you have been working in advance or uh, by the chef you've been collaborating during a summer school or things like that. Alex is asking, there is also, sorry Alex, I could not read completely, there is also a possibility to do the master in the weekend for workers, but it is only a full-time master. It's a full-time master, but as I told you before, Alex, for the COVID, uh, for the COVID uh, pandemic, we allow every student to attend the course through the recorded classes. So you have complete choice. You may stay in Polenzo and attend the classes physically, or you can stay not in Polenzo. Uh, you can stay by you, you can stay in another area of Italy or even abroad and attend the classes using the recorded classes. Therefore, you don't need to be uh, in Polenzo. And if you want to conciliate it with the working activity, this is possible. I hope I cooled down, sir. Nicolas, your question is a very good one. We have had in the past people attending this course without a university degree. If you do so, you will not get a master diploma, but you will get a certificate of attendance displaying every single course you've been attending. In case you decide to uh, apply to this course without the university degree, you are admitted eventually as an auditor. The auditor does all the things the students do, except the exams and the final thesis. Therefore, you complete the course without uh, the, be the, the worst part of the course, if you want, because you do not uh, stand for the exams and you do not have to write the thesis. But to be very clear about that, be very clear about it. All the auditors that have been in Polenzo until now, except one single person, have presented their thesis and have discussed their thesis because they wanted to do so to complete the, the, the master course in this way. Uh, yes, Nicolas, you as an auditor are admitted to the internship. You go on the internship and you participate to every study trip exactly doing the same things of the other students. Yes, absolutely. Uh, well, Dean Chavinsky, uh, I'm pleased to inform you that actually in 15 days after the completion of the dossier, you know if you are admitted or not. Serena asks, is it possible to start the program online and later come to Polenzo? Absolutely, yes. This is exactly the kind of flexibility we've been thinking of when preparing how to cope with the, the pandemic. We have figured out a beginning of the classes with less students because the pandemic have not yet been completely uh, out of our lives, but uh, expecting that through the year 2021, the students can uh, uh, finally come to Polenzo and complete their period of, uh, of uh, study in Polenzo in presence, because we absolutely believe that knowing each other is a great value. Absolutely. Alex X, I currently do another university. Can I do both of them at the same time? No, Alex, this is not legal. If you do so, uh, you can be admitted only as an auditor in our university, even if you are running for a university degree in the other university. The, the, you, the Italian and the European legal frame do not allow you to stay as a student in two universities at the same time uh, for, uh, for the goal of following two different master programs or course in general. So therefore you should be ending one before doing the other if you want to have both the, both the university degrees. If you are willing to attend this course as an auditor, of course, you don't have any obligation. And you can have, uh, you can be auditor in Polenzo while you are student in a different university. 
Yes, Alex, the fee is exactly the same because you have the same rights. You have the same access to classes. You have uh, the same study trips, the same uh, uh, air, air tickets and, and meals during the study trips. You have uh, all the tasting as well as any other students. So there is no difference in your experience. Bianca, am I required to have related basic wine knowledge before taking this master course? No. We are pleased to inform you that uh, if you have a good motivation to attend the course, we will start, even if with tough classes, we will start from the basics. Therefore, you will have basics of viticulture, basics of, uh, of enology, basics of wine tasting with the lexicon of wine tasting included. Therefore, you will be trained from the beginning. Of course, if you can come with some wine culture, uh, you will have less to study during the first month in Polenzo, but absolutely there is not a basic level that is mandatory. Uh, the essay is normally a couple of pages, Francesca, and, um, and uh, the, the questionnaire uh, is based on questions that require up to five, six lines each question to be answered. So nothing, nothing incredible. Absolutely. And in case you find something you are not uh, uh, comfortable <laughs> answering to because you don't understand or you have some doubts, Charles Wolinski and the other guys at the student's office are always willing to help you. Alex, if I do the course like an auditor at the finish of the course, I also do the discussion and get the master diploma. Nope, I told it before, Alex. You can do the final exam and present your thesis and discuss your thesis, but an auditor can get a certificate of attendance that is different in form and legal effect to a master degree. How long should the essay should be? As I told before, answering Francesca, Okay. Do you have any other question, guys? Alfonso, I missed the answer to Serena's question. Could you repeat, please? Serena asked, how long should the essay should be? And I told her that, averagely, the essays are about a couple of pages. Therefore, nothing, let's say, incredible to be completed. And uh, the questioner asks for questions that uh, require five to six lines to be answered, not more. So it is, uh, it is absolutely something that can cause you no, no, no stress. Uh, Alfonso, is it possible to start the problem online and later comes to Polenzo for the in-person classes? Mm -hmm. Yes, Alfonso, I'm pleased to repeat that. When you uh, apply to this course and you are admitted, you can start online using the recorded classes. And then in a second time, let's say, for instance, from March or from April or from May, come to Polenzo for ending the classes live in Polenzo. This is the kind of flexibility we have thought of when preparing the measures of the university to cope with the pandemic. So feel absolutely free to uh, shift from online learning to in-presence learning whenever you think it's better for you. I do thank you, Alfonso, for asking. It's a pleasure to explain it. No, Serena, the certificate of sommelier is a different is, is a different thing. The certificate of sommelier you can get from the Wine Set Trust or from the Italian Association Sommelier or many other uh, in many other uh, associations that uh, lead courses this way is um, is a different kind of diploma.
you can get during the course in Pollenzo because normally these kind of courses are taught in the evening but uh, are uh, different in terms of content and in terms of intensity to the master you are going to attend. The master you are going to attend is based on uh, a lot more hours with topics that never enter a, a program to become sommelier. And actually, this course is not a course to prepare sommelier for the restaurants. I mean, there are sommelier that uh, decided to attend this master at the University of Gastronomic Sciences, but uh, our professional goal is not to create sommelier. It's to create wine expert that can work as sommelier, but uh, more likely work as um, F&B manager or communicators or uh, teachers or uh, uh, experts involved in the procurement of uh, fine wine and so on. Okay, thank you, Serena, for asking. If you don't have any other question, please, for further information, refer to the student's office. But if you want to discuss some topic with me as a convener of this master, or you have some personal questions that you are not comfortable in asking now during this uh, public meeting, please take note of the email address I have just shared in the chat and send me an email. In case I can answer uh, your email with the information you need, it would be a pleasure. In case we need to define a Zoom meeting, it would be a pleasure too. You can see now also Charles Wolinski from the student's office has shared his, uh, his email address, and therefore you can count on two addresses at the university to ask for further doubts to be solved. Thank you very much for attending the meeting today. Uh, hope to see you in Polenzo too, Nicolas. Really, it's a pleasure to read your lines. Uh, for um, any further information, do not hesitate to write. And uh, really, enjoy this uh, fall and think of your future in Polenzo. It will be a pleasure to welcome you. Have a nice evening. Bye. Thank you, everybody. I just uh, am going to break in here just to wish you a personal thanks uh, for attending, for taking the time to listen to this presentation. Uh, we really appreciate your interest, and we hope to perhaps see you Polenso. And I personally look forward to reviewing your applications for the program. Thank you, Professor Fino. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening, too, everybody.